Today's video is sponsored by HelloTalk. Hello and welcome to another video and welcome to Madrid where I'm going to be flying to Frankfurt today with LATAM Airlines aboard their Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner. And this is definitely the cheapest and best business class flight in Europe. It's aboard a Dreamliner and it costs next to nothing. So it should be a really great experience that I'm looking forward to sharing with you. Now, before we go any further, today's video is sponsored by HelloTalk, a free language learning app for travel enthusiasts like you and me. And uh, through the magic of YouTube editing, you should now be able to see what's on my uh, iPhone screen here. Now, HelloTalk is an app that has over 20 million unique users worldwide, and it's a free language and culture exchange app. You can find local friends by either searching by a region or city, or simply nearby. Now, this is a great feature because it means that you can actually speak to people who live in the destination city, exchange tips on culture, things to see and do, and learn the language a bit as well. It's really helpful to prepare your trip with a local as it's simply more enjoyable and safer. Because I'm traveling to Frankfurt and learning German, I can look for German friends in the search tab. Now, I can either set region here as Germany and then search by city as Frankfurt. Now, you can also search nearby friends as well, but here I'm just going to pick those that are online. You can see the app's bringing up quite a few people now, and it's uh, never a bad idea to ask for advice from a local. I am a complete rookie learner of the German language, so I don't speak it very well. One of the great features that we have on the app is that when chatting, I can use the in-app translation feature to translate from English to German or vice versa. This is gonna make the conversation a lot more smooth. See, I'm asking this German girl about sightseeing recommendations and transport in Frankfurt. Now, she was good enough to reply to me, but it was in German and I don't speak it very well. So if I long press, I can translate it. I can also translate my sentences into German in the app directly and send it out to her that way. The next thing I'm gonna show you is the moments feed, which is where people type in travel questions, tips, and advice. You can search all of these tips by topic. Now, in this case, I searched Frankfurt and people have posted some nice pictures. So I wonder where they went and I thought maybe I should add those to my list of must-see things when I went to Frankfurt too. Just to show you how the moments feature has worked for me as a user, you can see here that I've posted a couple of questions. One is about the top sports bars uh, in Frankfurt, which I've got a great response to. And the other one, which got loads of responses, was a language question about a figure of speech in German. The last thing I want to show you is about how this free app even includes a serious learners feature, which includes some of the most committed and best language learners on the platform. So if you want to find friends who are a bit more responsive and active on the app, they can answer all of your questions about foreign custom and travel and maybe teach you a bit of the language too. This is the place for you to go. And that's it. That's all about HelloTalk, a free language learning app for travel enthusiasts like you and me. Here's my profile. And if you want to add me on there and you can come and talk to me. So here we are and welcome to Madrid Airport. Now, LATAM uses Terminal 4 along with other One World carriers, and their bag drop opens about three hours before departure. When in a foreign country, I love looking at local spellings of place names. The Spanish names here are for Nice, Strasbourg, London, and my favorite, Philadelphia. Unfortunately, fast track is not included for LATAM business class passengers, but regular security worked absolutely fine and I was on the transit in no time. LATAM's flight leaves from the satellite terminal T4S. Madrid is an enormous airport covering over 3,000 hectares and, in Europe, is second only to Charles de Gaulle in size. I measured the distance between the main terminal and the satellite and it's well over a mile. I can't think of any other airports with a terminal with two buildings so far apart. The Velas Quez Lounge is one I've covered a few times before, so I'll keep it fairly brief. It happens to be one of the better appointed lounges in the One World network in Europe with every essential amenity included. The food options are pretty good too, and I even got a peek at the pre-flight dining area, which is used only for late night departures.
There are some cracking views here too. You can see most types of aircraft, including one of Iberia's smallest, up to its largest. Evelop, by the way, are a charter airline. There is only one A350 in their fleet, with a second due later this year. Regular visitors to Madrid will have noticed the crucifix on the hillside to the east of the airport. Thanks to a commenter on a previous video, I now know this is a Paracuellos de Yarama cemetery, which houses the victims of a massacre on this site from the Spanish Civil War. So you're probably wondering what a South American airline is doing running a flight between Madrid and Frankfurt. And the answer is quite simple. This is really a continuation of a flight which arrives earlier in the day from Santiago in Chile. Now this flight is operating until June the 30th of this year, at which point it's being discontinued. The Santiago flight will terminate here in Madrid. LATAM are actually operating a brand new flight directly from Frankfurt to Santiago. So there's no need for this additional uh, tag on flight between Madrid and Frankfurt. The other thing that's so great about this flight is it's so cheap. I picked this up for just 68 euros one way. It's probably the cheapest business class flight that you can find in Europe. It got me 40 tier points for the British Airways Executive Club and it is just a fantastic experience. I know that a lot of people that are going to be traveling on this route between Madrid and Frankfurt are going to be aviation geeks like me. Our Boeing 787-9 carries the livery of LAN, a predecessor airline to LATAM. LAN became LATAM eight years ago, so it's a bit strange that this aircraft still carries the former branding. I'm sure someone in the comments will be able to explain why. Followers of my other social media will recognize my pet hate, boarding but not boarding. This is the practice of boarding an aircraft which is not actually ready to receive passengers, so passengers must wait after being scanned through. It's really common here in Madrid. I don't like this practice as you end up waiting in the jet bridge or worse, outside. This practice is worst in bad weather. Jet bridges tend not to be heated or air conditioned, so why keep passengers for up to 20 minutes in one of these things. There are 30 seats in business class in a 2-2-2 configuration, which is far from ideal for a long-haul product. In fact, these seats are the same ones used by Air India. But no matter, it's a really big plus when flying within Europe on a short hop like today. LATAM has brand new seats coming online with newly delivered aircraft, which do offer direct aisle access to every passenger. The last time I flew this route, I had a Pisco Sour, a delicious Peruvian lime cocktail. But sadly, they weren't available this time, and I had to settle for some champagne instead. The one big advantage of these seats is they're really wide, unlike sitting in a big armchair. There's lots of space, even if this is at the expense of privacy.
let's take a better look at the seat. There's lots of storage and a small blanket and pillow were waiting for me at my seat. There's shoe storage as well as a cubby for the headphones and a small recess in the center console which contains a bottle holder and remote control. Also here are the USB and universal chargers and a small button which when pressed releases a small partition. It's only useful if you want to recline fully in sleep but thankfully I had no seat neighbour on this flight. The tray table is deployed from the middle console and you can swivel them in order to get out easily even if your table is loaded. The seat goes fully flat, although on such a short flight I didn't get the chance to road test it properly. This being a Dreamliner, there are of course electronically dimming windows. I think the whole world looks better if you choose a middle setting and experience the earth passing below in a gorgeous blue tint. The food and drink service began after about half an hour. On this flight there's no menu and only one choice, a delicious cold chicken and olive salad. I've done this route several times now and the food's been really good every time. The dessert on this flight was a sort of deconstructed fruit and cream sponge and I washed this down with a beautiful Chilean red wine. The headphones are pretty basic but then again I always recommend carrying your own anyway. And the in-flight entertainment choices are limited to just a couple of dozen films, but the quality was good. Both Joker and Judy are particularly good, and you could watch either of these within the duration of this flight. At just two hours long, it isn't long before we're descending into Frankfurt, after a great taste of long-haul business class flying. This is probably the most popular wide body flight in Europe amongst aviation geeks because it's just so affordable. Depending on currency fluctuations, you can pick this up for as little as 60 or 70 euros sometimes and the qualifying miles this flight earns are very welcome if you collect miles in any of the One World Alliance programs. As I mentioned earlier, this flight ceases on the 30th of June, but if miles matter, be warned that LATAM leaves the One World Alliance on May the 1st, so you will need to fly before then if you want to collect in programs like BA's Executive Club. Anyway, that's quite enough from me. Thank you so much for watching the video and don't forget to download HelloTalk now to talk to 16 million language partners worldwide.